Acting Chief Executive Officer of the Water and Sewage Authority says the authority is working toward bringing back normal operations in communities affected by flooding. Anna Carter has more. Acting Chief Executive Officer Kelvin Romain explained that the North Oropuch Water Treatment Plant services one of the largest areas on the island, and due to the recent adverse weather, the plant was hit with a number of challenges. It would have, it would have presented some silt at our raw water intakes, um, as well as um, it would have caused some, some heavy um, or over flooded rivers, which would have caused a couple leaks across our um, cross-country means. We have since repaired those leaks. Um, however, we are still posed with some of um, some silt issues. Acting Director of Operations Shahira Ali said the desilting process will begin on Thursday with a 24-hour turnaround after the process is completed for full operations to resume. These surface source facilities have been affected by increased accumulation of silt after periods of heavy rainfall. For instance, tomorrow at the authority's North Oropuch plant, emergency cleaning works will commence to desilt the high accumulation of debris collected within the intake channel that is affecting the proper operation of the raw water pumps. If this exercise is delayed, it could cause additional damage to the raw water units thereby affecting overall delivery to customers and impacting on the efficiency of the operation to the schedules. Additionally, Mr. Romain noted that in order to address the gaps left as a result of the shutdown of the desalination company of Trinidad and Tobago Desalcot due to maintenance, an additional 4 million gallons of water will be pumped, while at the Karani Water Treatment Plant, customers will benefit from an additional 5 million gallons of water. I have noted the concerns of, of the public. I have received a number of calls, distress calls at that, and uh, um, I have decided that I would like to hear from the public even more. Um, I, I, I did get a dedicated number so that I could be communicated directly with um, through WhatsApp, and the number is 493-4CEO. He also said a new WhatsApp hotline has been established so members of the public can communicate their WASA-related concerns with him. Ayana Carter, TTT News.